Hey everyone, how you doing? My name is Echo. Welcome back today to a Minecraft Pocket Edition Village Trading Tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you everything you need to know about village trading on Minecraft Pocket Edition. Now this was recently introduced to MCPE in the version 1.0.4. If you missed my official change log video, check it out in description. But let's get into this because there's a lot to learn and I'm so happy they have introduced this. So going into play, let's go into my MCPE trading guide. A couple of things that you guys need to understand about village trading is on Minecraft Pocket Edition, we have 11 different villages. It could be 12, but I do not know if MCP has the Nitwit Villager. If you guys have experienced it, please let me know in the comment section. However, Minecraft Pocket Edition does not have the Cartographer, who is the newest type of villager. It was introduced for um, the Woodland Mansion maps and much more. It's basically used for finding the treasure map. So. I've literally spent the past hour collecting all the villages, including a zombie villager, because these are now useful. Finally, I killed so many zombie villagers because we didn't have village trading. So I'm going to quickly briefly go over all the villages that we do have and show you guys that when you go over to a villager now, it's going to pop up above your hotbar saying trade. This works, of course, in creative or survival. And yes, I do have a coordinates add-on available. Um, I'll try and link that down below if you guys want to check it out. So if we hit on trade, as you guys can see, it pops up like this. Now, this is the leather worker. Now, something I've noticed about Minecraft Pocket Edition is if I stand a little bit further, you'll notice above the villager, it pops up with an emerald mean that you're doing a little bit of trading. Now, I'm going to try and show you because this is sometimes a little bit hard to do. You can just about see it at the top of my screen. That is an emerald. It just means that the person is trading with that villager, which is kind of useful because if you're in a game with your friends, he's trading with that villager, not you. So we have a leather worker. We have, oops, I'm punching him, a shepherd. We have a clerk, a weaponsmith, a fisherman, a fletcher, a toolsmith, one of my favorites. We have a butcher. We have an armorer, also one of my favorites. We have a librarian, which are extremely useful. I like these a lot and I'll explain to you why in just a second. And last but not least, we have a farmer. They all have a different percentage of um, finding the specific types of villages. So if I tell you guys the specific percentages, farmer, fisherman, shepherd, fletcher, they all have a 4.16% chance of spawning. Armorer, Weapon Toolsmith, um, they have a 5.57% chance. Butcher, Leather Worker, Librarian, Cartographer, 8.3. A Clerk is a 16.6% chance. Um, so they're kind of, the Clerk is probably the common one, the most common one you're going to see in Minecraft Pocket Edition. So I want to start off with the basics because I want to do a bunch of trading with these because I've not really had the time to fully max out the trading of all of these within Minecraft Pocket Edition. So if we click on trade, guys. If you click this button, you can actually change between two trades. Now, the more you trade with this villager, the more options it's going to give you. So what I've done is I've grabbed a bunch of materials inside of here. This specific villager wants emeralds and it also wants leather as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just simply put my leather inside of here. And as you guys can see, in return for me giving it 10 leather, it's going to give me one emerald. And if I really wanted to do this multiple times, I can actually do this as much as I really needed to. Uh, it's giving me stacks though, because of the creative side, I'm guessing. Um, now, if I come off this, he should like, yeah, it's like a potion effect. He should like be happy, basically. It means the villager is happy. If we click on him again, he's going to offer me a different trade. So if we go across, he now offers me... Um, Thorns, Blast Protection, and I'm breaking Leather Tunic for 11 Emeralds. And I'm going to do a couple more trades with this one because I want to grab a couple of things. I want to see what else, else he can offer me. Also, trading with villagers will give you XP as well. Um, and as you guys can see, this villager is happy again. So we click on Trade. It should offer us something a little bit different. It's offering us a saddle, which is actually not too bad for eight because of course, sometimes obtaining saddles in Minecraft Pocket Edition can take a little bit of time because you have to find dungeons, you have to find mine shafts, etc. Let's see if he's happy again. He is happy again and he's offering nothing else at this current point. So I'm gonna move away from this villager because there's a lot there's a lot of better villagers that we can trade with. I just wanna get rid of a couple of these things because my inventory is gonna fill up quite quickly. Now some villagers, how can I put it guys? Some villagers offer better things than others. If that, if that makes sense to you, let's just get rid of absolutely everything other than my, uh, my sword in case we need to kill some of them. So the next guy we have here, this is the shepherd who will offer you things related to kind of sheep. So they want wool. 
He also wants to um, sell you a Shia for three emeralds. Again, some of the trades really aren't that useful. Honestly, guys, some of the trades are absolutely terrible, but uh, I'm going to do this one just because we can. Let's just grab a couple of these. And then if he's happy, he might offer us something different. So are you happy? He is happy. And the next one he's offering us is one em one wool for one emerald. So you can see how they can daylight robbery. And also he's offering you a bunch of different colors there, which is pretty good if you guys are looking to do some house designing, flooring, etc. Um, so yeah, that's the next one. The next one we have here is, I know he killed you, is the clerk. The clerk, by the way, guys, they always offer the same thing. It's never, ever different, just so you, you don't, like, basically, if you go to a different clerk, it may offer you something, um, different, but it's gonna be the same later on in a different villager. I'll explain to you what I mean. Now, this one, I really like this one, because this one specifically wants, um, what do you want? Rotten flesh. So you can offer them rotten flesh in return for emeralds. So I like this one a lot because who doesn't want emeralds? Emeralds are the be all and end all. Emeralds are used for trading. Now he's happy. So it's offering us the likes of lapis. The trades are always the same. The clerk, probably one of my my favorite because it offers you um, emeralds for rotten flesh, which I think is a good trade. But overall, in terms of what else it has, it's it's kind of really not that useful. So let's uh, let's get rid of this guy. Yeah, I liked you, but not for that, not that much. Let's get rid of this. Okay, so the next one, we're getting into the more interesting ones now. This one is a weapon smith. These are really good, and the more you trade with this one, the better it's going to get. So at this current point, it wants seven emeralds for an axe, which is just a normal iron axe. If you can tap on them, by the way, guys, it'll tell you exactly what you can get. So I'm going to try and max this guy out as much as I can, because these are really good. If we get towards the later trades. It will get better. So let's just do one and two. I'm going to take this away. He should be happy. He should offer me something different. He is happy. He's offering me, um, what's this one? An iron knockback sword. So for example, let's just take one and two and three of them. Let's see if he gets happy and offers us something a little different. He's happy again. What's he offering us this time? Um, this one, diamond sword with looting. There you go, guys. See what I mean? This is why I like these villages a lot because who doesn't want? If you buy a couple of these, you can combine them. 13 emeralds for one diamond looting sword. I'm 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 happy with this one. I'll do this as much as I can. So we've done this guy. Um, let's see if he offers us anything else. He might do. It might be his last trade. Is it his last trade? Um, he offers us a diamond axe with bane of arthropods and still the same one. So yeah, that's that's the best tutorial I could give you guys. The next one, this being a fisherman. They're not really great guys. Fishermen, fish, emeralds, it's anything related to, it's It's not a useful one. I'm gonna skip that guy. The next one here is a Fletcher. Again, not the greatest one, but if you do want arrows, in fact, we'll, we'll, we'll take this one. We'll take this one. Let's just do a couple of trades here. What are you gonna offer me next? Cause I can't really remember what the Fletcher offers me. He wants uh, a bow, okay. I don't know if you can get an enchanted bow from this guy, but I'll take a couple of these and see if he's gonna offer us anything enchanted. Two emeralds for a bow, not too bad, especially if you can't find any spiders. This guy, anything else useful? Nope, that's about it. Uh, and then we get into the more interesting ones again. So let's just get rid of all of these materials. As you guys can see, with this tutorial, I've I've literally done a lot of trading here. An absolute lot of trading. So let's just get rid of them. And then we get into the more interesting ones again. So this one being a toolsmith. Is this a toolsmith? Do we have a toolsmith already? Have I, not, have I showed you guys a toolsmith? This is a weaponsmith. Okay, so the toolsmith and weaponsmith, I think they're pretty similar in, in the things that they offer. But let's just put some emeralds inside of here. He wants one, two, three. Let's see what else you offer me now. Come on, mister. Shine bright. Okay, anything this time? Um, an iron pickaxe with so so touching and breaking for nine. I'll take that. The only downside to this is it's, it's iron and not so much diamond stuff. Maybe he's going to offer me something good now. He's happy again. He's offering me uh, a diamond pick with unbreaking. So yeah, pretty useful. This one is a butcher, offers you food related things, such as um, basically if you give him pork chops and chicken, he will give you emeralds. Not the greatest of trades, but he's available. And then we've also got here an armorer. This is where you guys can gear up with all your good armor. And this guy always wants coal and always wants emeralds. So we'll do a couple of these trades. Let's click on you. Um, let's just put 64 in here. Let's just take a couple of diamonds, shall we? Sorry, a couple of emeralds. Uh, he should brighten up again. Yes, this guy is now offering us still normal, useful things, uh, useless things. So, again, we don't really want iron things. 
from these villages, you're mainly looking for diamond things. So shine bright again. He is. Um, diamond thorns, not the greatest. Let's we'll buy we'll buy two of these. Maybe he'll offer me something a little bit better here. He's offering me now, last but not least, he's offering me chain related things. Not great. Anyway, moving on to my favorite villager. My favorite villager is a librarian because these offer you enchanted books. Now on Minecraft console edition and on Minecraft PC, they can offer you mending and frost walker. It's very rare. Pocket edition does not have frost walker or mending just yet. Uh, but this person always wants the likes of the things I've got here. They always want emeralds, they always want books, and they always want paper, which are quite easy to make. So, trade, let's uh, hit you up with a couple of these. Let's take a, a, a couple of your emeralds. Um, anything else? No, I haven't got enough. Let's just see if he's gonna shine bright. There was an enchanted thing there as well. So, the next thing he's offering me is 16 emeralds and one book for thorns. I'm not gonna do that one. Uh, but I want to get further to the end because the things that this guy can offer you is really useful So let's just take a couple of them Come on mister. Come on mister. Offer us something really good towards the end So the next thing no nope, it wants glass sure we'll trade a little bit a little bit of glass I don't need it, but I'll trade a little bit of it Next one he's offering me is still not offering me anything useful. Come on you Let's come off this one. Please offer me something useful here. It's offering me Punch not the greatest not the greatest but again villages are the librarian villages are incredible I recommend using them as much as possible. This one is a farmer. They literally these are used for mainly breeding People normally use these for breeding, but these basically offer wheat um, Potatoes if you give them them you're gonna get emeralds and then I've also saved this best to last So what we're gonna do here right guys you should know how to, to cure them now you need a potion of um, Weakness you throw it at them and then you gave them one of these. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna heal him. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fast forward this and we're gonna see what we get. So as you guys can successfully see, we finally healed this, but the good thing is we can now trade with this fellow. Uh, well, we're meant to be able to, but for some reason, there we go. This, okay, I think we found a bug here. I found a bug because I can't, I can't trade with him. I can't trade with him, unfortunately. Like the way we go over to this one, we can trade. Um, for some reason, I cannot trade with this little fellow, which is... A little bit unfortunate, but the last thing I want to share with you in today's video guys is of course the trading I've been showing you is the manual crafting of course Minecraft pocket edition has an automatic crafting If you go into settings and you go all the way down to video you go down to the UI profile Which is in, in advanced settings if I change it to pocket edition Let's have a quick look at how the trading will look in here So as you guys can see if I grab myself um, If I grab myself a bunch of emeralds, I'll show you a very brief I'll grab myself a bunch of things here. Let's just quickly get rid of a couple of things Let's just trade this, this, and this. So of course, if I click on him, as you guys will be able to see, if I stick them in there, it's gonna offer me an emerald. Exactly the same with the potatoes. As long as you've got the materials, that is how it works. Um, but for, in all honesty, I prefer the PC crafting. It's a lot easier to use for trading, but that's how it works, especially with these as well. It works for all of the villages. It's this guy. Oh, okay. We got a lot of emeralds. So if we wanted pumpkin pie, we can get ourselves some pumpkin pie. A little bit sad that this guy doesn't work though, but you can heal zombie villages and it will be accessible for trading very soon once they fix that bug. Have a great day and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>